Hello Dolly friends, how's everybody doing? I hope everyone's doing great. And I decided to participate in Theme Thursday this week. I always intend to. I just don't get around to it and I want to. So we've got little Trey Trey here and I just took him out of his little sleepy gown, which I love, but I took it off of him so I could dress him in this week's theme, which is penguins. We've got sweet little furry penguins, and this little sleeper came with him. But when I put it on him, it is a little bit tight. I don't know if it's the shape. No, I just think it's a little bit tight. But um, for aesthetic purposes for the video, I'm going to have that on him. And I thought he would look great in his little yellow hat. He loves hats. There we go. Look at you, baby. He is the Lorena May sculpt by Janet Palker, and his artist had him as a girl, but when I saw him, I was like, I just, he looks like a little boy to me. So look at that precious little face. Look at that sweetheart. He's beautiful. I'm experimenting with a new lighting situation. Um, I don't know if I've got it right, but this would make things easier so I could film in different places. So we have our little man here, and I'm just going to move him to the side because we have more babies to feature for this theme Thursday. Here I have Trevor. He's my Joseph three months, and he also, like little Trey Trey, he's sleeping. He's a sleepy fellow. Um, but I had him dressed up in this Slytherin suit. I know I didn't show anybody because I had, I keep leaning over to see if he's in frame and everything because I am in a new situation, um, with my filming here. And I had a plan for many of the babies and the Hogwarts theme, but I guess I waited too long. Then we went into Halloween and all kinds of stuff. So he's going to be doing theme Thursday and an alternate theme is winter so we're going to bundle him up for the winter I am going to take him out of this because I want this outfit in the wash I want to keep it all together I keep all my Hogwarts clothing in one place together so I have quite a collection of Hogwarts stuff and some you guys have not seen yet, most of which you haven't seen, because I really was trying to build up to the theme and do a video all with Hogwarts, but we didn't do that yet. There's so many ideas that I get that I just don't film, um, but I'm, I'm hoping to <laughs> get to some of those things. Now, before, I put his warm outfit on. We're going to put a onesie on him. Um, oh, I didn't even like go over this with a lint brush. And I'm sorry, it's black. So I probably should have brushed it. Um, but I didn't. And I don't know if you've noticed, if you've seen him before, you'll see that I did kind of try to give him new hair. Um, I'm actually going to go over that with paint, I think. This was my first effort at trying to um, do some hair. I don't know with the lighting, if you can see. I had a tough time. I started out with Prisma pencil, and it wouldn't take to the varnish that was on him. So I had to, um, I primed his head. And then I tried it again, and I like him so much better this way. Um, he, he was too pale. He was just, he was too pale, and he, he needed something. I, I wasn't able to bond with him. Uh, let me show you also that I also did his eyebrows. I don't know if you can, yeah, this is going to be a little odd with the lighting here. But I did give him eyebrows because his eyebrows were very, very faint and you couldn't see them at all. And he just, he just did not look right to me. I thought I was going to have to put some more color on his lips, but once his hair and eyebrows were in place, um, 
his lips, the rest of his face just kind of fell into place. He, I think he looks really good now. Now, this isn't exactly how I wanted to do the hair as far as it coming down so far in the forehead. That was basically a combination of two things. I kind of, because the pencil wouldn't take to the um, original finish on him, on the varnish that was on him, I was kind of making hard strokes and I kind of went down further than I wanted to, so I just went with that. And also his forehead had a lot of mottling, like too much. You could see the distinct sponge patterns and that kind of bothered me. So even though it's not the hairstyle I had in mind, I, I think it I think it works. And again, I would like to go over that with some paint, which is why it's still shiny. I haven't put the matte varnish on because I'm feeling like I want to do some painting on him, but I don't feel like I'm ready to do that. So I'm gonna leave him as he is right now. Um, but yeah, I, I, I was even at the point where, you know, I, I thought about selling him um, cause I just, I couldn't bond with him. I thought about making him into a girl, but really, even though, you know, this job I did on his hair is not spectacular by any means, I'm literally just starting out here, you know, as I can't call myself an artist, I haven't completed a doll yet, though I am painting. I have started my house elf and I took a hiatus because I became discouraged with that kit. Um, if you've seen the, uh, Manor Elf or House Elf, um, I have been painting that, and I had done a primer layer. I'm sorry, I'm pulling things out from behind me. I had done a primer layer, uh, because that came with the, um, what's it called? Waterborne acrylic paints. So I did that. And then I put on uh, the blue neutralizing wash, and I did that twice. And I know when people have the oil paints and they bake it and suddenly, you know, the vinyl looks white. Well, either that doesn't happen with our acrylics or that just didn't happen for me. And it looked the same. And I was getting, you know, I, I the third coat I made a little more pigmented and apparently a little too thick because when I was done with that third coat, I went from, you know, not seeing anything differently to the kit looking like I rubbed it on a pair of blue jeans. So then like, I stopped for a while. I didn't cry or anything, but I did feel like, you know, I needed to put it down for a minute. When I mean a minute, I mean like a couple weeks. And so I went back and I did a color correcting layer. And now I was back where it started from. It looked exactly like the vinyl from the kit, like without anything on it. Why is this tight? He has worn it before. I have played around with his stuffing on a couple of occasions, um, but I hope I didn't go too far. I tend to go too far. All right, Ooh. come on baby boy. We can do it, we can get you in this. Um, so yeah, I did a little too much on the neutralizing layer. All right, excuse me, I don't want you to see me kind of pulling on this. Oh, he is a little bit bigger than when I got him because I did kind of play with his stuff and I thought he was like really too floppy when I first got him. So he's in his little bear suit. There you go. I know it's an awkward, position here. So I'm going to lay him here for a moment while I tell you the rest of what happened. So now I'm, I'm after, I, all right, I did the primer, two neutralizing washes, um, and, and a color correcting layer. And I was back where I started. So I'm, I'm getting little Tabitha here ready for her outfit change. I have to take her clothes off and fix her hair and stuff, but she's going to also participate in Theme Thursday. And there she is. There she is. Hi. I'm doing the queen wave. Hi. 
Okay, um, make sure I'm still recording because you never know with my stuff. So, um, oh goodness, I want you to stay in the frame. I want to have room here to work on tablet also. So, okay, so then finally I got brave enough to mix the skin tone. And I do have a skin tone layer on my e.l.f. And it looks like the color that I want it to be. So I'm, I'm happy with that. And then, you know, I've been watching tutorials for literally a year. I've been on YouTube almost exactly one year. And um, so every artist does things differently. And I got to the point where I don't know what to do next. What do I do next? Do I do veins? Do I do shading? Do I do, well, I know the veins will come before the mottling, no matter what, but I got, I felt a little bit stuck in my head, and I wasn't sure if I was going to do veins on him, because I'm making my elf as close to looking like Dobby from Harry Potter as I can, and from all the pictures I've studied of Dobby, and yes, I have studied Dobby pictures, um, oh, I'm going to digress a little bit. Do you know that if you're watching a movie on Peacock or HBO Max, you cannot take a screenshot? I'm assuming it's like that with the other streaming services, but I don't have them. But I just wanted pictures of Dobby so I could, like, zoom in and, you know, just really study him. And it just comes out black with a white, like, frame around it. You cannot take screenshots of movies on those streaming services. I thought, I mean, I understand why, and that's kind of cool in a way. Um, but anyway, so I didn't know if I was going to be doing veining on Dobby, but I think I've decided to do a little bit of, little bit of veining, um, maybe for practice, maybe just to make sure that I have some details on him. Um, but yes, I have, oh, what's this in her hair? I don't know, there was something in her hair. But I have decided that I will do some veining on Dobby, and that's where we are now. That's the next step I have to take, and then I guess Motlin comes next. And um, after that, um, the shade increasing or another skin layer, and should I do a yellow wash? I hear people say that adds depth. I don't really want Dobby to look like a warm color per se. I'm doing his skin in kind of a tack, uh, tacky, khaki. <laughs> See, I can't comb Tabitha's hair and talk to you with any inkling of intelligence. Um, okay, so we're gonna move you over a little bit, baby Trevor. And we're going to put, oh, what? I was taking this off. No, we're leaving this on. We're leaving the onesies on. I know technically these are pram suits, I remember from when I had babies, my, I know my son had um, a Dalmatian one. But we're gonna pretend that they're sleepers. That's what we're doing. Because we're not, oh, this one looks bigger. Maybe I should've put this one on him. Maybe I should have, but I thought I would put Tabitha in the blue. But apparently they're not the same size. I thought, oh, I don't want that to dig into his vinyl. Ah. Uh, Let's fix you here. I don't want any scratches on your baby. But yeah, I, I, I think I love him now. I'm definitely feeling like I'm bonding with him. Uh, uh. <laughs> Can I snap, snap? Do I need to go back to preschool? I need one of those books that has like shoelaces in it and you can tie the laces and snap the snap and zip the big plastic zipper. Yeah, I think that's what mommy needs to do. Right, baby? <laughs> I haven't played with her a whole lot either. I do have a lot of dolls in my collection. Um, somebody asked me just today, a friend of mine asked me, how many dolls do you have? And I completely, honestly said to her, I don't know. I've never counted them and I don't want to know. I don't want to know because I don't want to feel guilty because I know I have too many, um, you know, by anyone else's standards. Yet, I'm, I'm not in that place. Um, I know a lot of people have babies coming in and out of the nursery often, and like that's normal for them. 
maybe it's because I'm a Libra that I, I just get attached to things. Oh goodness, now this one, this one is a little small on him, and this one's going to be a little bit big on her. We should have done it the other way, shouldn't we have? Shouldn't we have? But I just thought you would look so cute in this one. Originally, I was thinking of putting this one on Ruby, my little Ruby girl, um, but I love her in that white dress, and I'm going to keep her in that for a while longer. I, I just really adore how she looks in that dress. Um, but yeah, so the elf, um, I also get hung up, like, there are times where I feel like I should be painting, but then I feel bad because I hadn't filmed anything and I feel like I should be doing that and then I guess I get not overwhelmed but just feeling pressure like I need to be doing one of those things I need to be doing both of those things um filming and being on YouTube makes me happy and the painting I you know I, I mean I can't say yet I'm literally brand new but I really want to develop some skills and, um, you know, be good at painting. I want to do that. So we can sit her up because she's actually awake. And we'll put her brother kind of like uh, over here. He, he is sleeping. But she's going to hug him. Look at that. Look at those babies. Aren't they sweet? <laughs> so we've got them. And, and oops, somebody's hat fell off. And then we have our little baby Trey. Let's put your arm up. Let's try that. Get little Trey Trey in there. Nope, all right, I don't know how we're gonna do that. Come on, Trevor, be snuggly. We have everybody in there? We do, we do. So tomorrow is going to be absolutely frigid where I am. Come on, let's look at the camera, baby. Uh, I'm holding it now. Just want to get everybody in here. And there's little Trevor, and there's happy Tabitha. Um, so, okay, guys, stay warm. Be safe. Stay well. Love you guys. Bye-bye.